Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 15th through the 21st. Now, keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you. Okay, just take what resonates and leave the rest, and do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to do you and the person, the other person, or another person that is predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is. It's somebody that is. You know, you may you may think it's about this person, but it's actually about somebody else. You'll be able to figure it out. So what do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of February 15th through the 21st. What do we have for Virgo? These cards were in there because I've been using them. So what do we have for Virgo? Oh, the lovers. So this is an unexpected choice in love. I mean, this is Cupid or an angel that is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. Now, the lovers doesn't have to be an actual lover. It's a union, okay? It could be, it's two people. It's two people coming together or being together that are meant to be together, okay? So, and this is this is guided, okay? This is, this is a... A connection that is uh, being brought together from above okay so this is a card this is a healing love this is this may be unexpected um, whatever is happening uh, for you you're, you're gonna be receiving something or a union there's some sort of union that is meant to be here that is on the forefront for you okay you may have to make a choice or a choice is being made. But it looks like we have two people that are very compatible that see eye to eye with each other. Okay. Maybe if you can get a little bit closer. There we go. A new camera is coming soon. Anyhow, there is uh, love here. There is love. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. So that is an offer of love, okay? This is emotional support. This is going to make you very happy. This is, uh, I don't know, some of you may be getting a proposal. Um, this is somebody that is looking for love, looking for a relationship. And they are, go there's going to be some sort of proposition that is made to you this week. And it does have to do with a union or a partnership. Um, whatever is happening, there is a healing love that is, that is here. It is here. It's right here um, for you. This is very, uh, it's going to make you really happy, put it that way. This may, for some of you, this is somebody that is very romantic. It is a lover for some of you. It's not going to be for everybody. This could just be emotional support. This is somebody that is very caring, very uh, spiritual, very empathic. You know, this is a lover. You definitely have a lover here for some of you. Uh, I just want to, I mean, it is a lover. Hmm. For the other person that is predominantly in your energy. Ooh. So the other person that is predominantly in your energy, there's there's no, it's 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 probably not this person. Okay, it's not this person, because this is an unexpected choice in love. This is somebody that you're not really I don't feel like you uh, are aware yet. Maybe you are, maybe you are. Um, but over here, somebody that's in your energy, there's a lack of growth. There's a lack of fertility. There's somebody here that is very possessive, that is very, very forceful, that is frustrated. This person is frustrated. They are exhausted. They are fed up. They're tired. Uh, they're not. There's a lack of growth here. And there's going to be an arrival for you. But whoever you're dealing with may not be healthy. There could be some poor health here. Um, I don't know. Now, the Empress reverse could be a termination. 
It could be a termination. It could be um, you know, we have somebody here that is very unhealthy, put it that way. Um, what's happening this week? And this is about healing love. There is a healing love here. Starting with a clean slate. So whoever is over here is going to be leaving behind something. They're going to be leaving behind something that isn't growing, that hasn't grown, that, that hasn't come to fruition. Something I'm not sure if something has died. You know what I mean? The love has died. You know, anyhow, the fool card in, is starting with a clean slate, stepping into new territory. Uh, so we definitely, whoever this person is, is going to be going in a new direction. They may be experiencing some pain. I just got to be honest. There could be a loss here of some sort, but this loss leads to a new beginning. Oh, here it is. Ah, we have somebody that's been going overboard. Whoever this person is has been going overboard. They may have, they may be wishing that they didn't, uh, or they may have wishing, they may have wished that something has had grown. They may have, may, they may have wished that they took action sooner. You know, there's somebody over here that is very possessive, that is very forceful, that is not very loving, that is not very abundant, that is definitely. Uh, going in a new direction. It feels like they've went overboard. They've done something. They've went to extremes and now they're experiencing a loss. Now the three of pentacles is about teamwork, togetherness, learning new skills. Whoever you're dealing with is going to be learning some new skills they're going to, they're, they're, it's almost like they're being forced. They're being forced to go in a new direction. Somebody is being forced to, and they're, and maybe they're sick. Maybe they're ill. They're, I feel like there's some sort of illness here, whoever you're dealing with. This is learning new skills, stepping into new territory, doing something that they've never done. We have somebody here that uh, is definitely not happy about a situation. They're not happy. They may somebody may have a drinking problem. Uh, they're very egotistical. You're dealing with somebody that is egotistical. Mm. They're not very caring. They're not very loving. Um, there's some sort of truth that is going to come out about this person. Some sort of information is coming out. Some sort of truths. This is awakening of some sort, a wake-up call. You are dealing with somebody that is about to get a wake-up call. Maybe you're leaving them behind. Maybe you're leaving them behind. And that's what's causing their, you know, unhappiness. Anyway, there is a new approach that is about to be taken for somebody that you're dealing with. They're going to be learning new skills. And it feels like it's, it, it feels like there, there's no choice. It feels like there's no choice but to start with a clean slate. There's no choice but to start over. You must learn some new skills. So there is somebody here that is, is and I feel like this other person that you're dealing with is going to be learning some new skills. It feels like they're going to be needing to take a new approach. They may get some sort of epiphany. They may get a wake-up call of some sort after they've been going overboard. So whoever you're dealing with um, is experiencing some sort of loss they unfortunately with the empress reversed it's because they they haven't grown they haven't grown they've been lazy they've been complacent they've been uh in some sort of pain you know they've been over self-medicating or something like that they've been going overboard and now they're going to be experiencing a loss they're going to be starting from with from scratch somebody is like somebody is going to be forced they're going to be forced to learn some sort of skills. There's also some truth that is going to come out about this person this week. Let's get one of these for you. And one for the other person.
Ooh, pale. Time to get out of a situation. So you are going to be getting out of a situation. There's an opportunity for love. You're going to be connecting with somebody that is, or somebody in your situation. It doesn't have to be a lover. Just got to reiterate that. There's going to be somebody that is getting out of a situation. And they are going to be getting together with somebody that they are perfect with. Okay, perfect. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. This may have to do with a child over here, and I was going to say it with this. Um, we do have a new opportunity. And, and you think about the, for this person over here, the Fool card is free. It is free. It's starting a new, it, it is starting a new life. So this person is going to be starting a new life. They are. Whoever this person is. They're going to be working with somebody new. They're going to be taking a new approach, but I feel like it's forced. I think that they're going to be forced to take a new approach. There's somebody here that is not very abundant. They haven't been growing. You know, there's a lack of growth. There's a lack of fertility. They've been uh, sick, perhaps. You know, there's some sort of illness here. They've been going overboard. Um, and now that it feels like they're going to be forced to start over. They're going to be forced to learn a new skill. So I don't know who this person is. This is a birth. But it comes after a loss. So whoever you're dealing with is going to get some sort of wake-up call. They're going to get a wake-up call. And they're going to be forced to learn some new skills or to start over from scratch, you know, and to do something that they've never done before. And they're going to be, it feels like they're going to be forced to, to listen, you know, forced to take that new approach because whatever they've been doing has been killing them or causing poor health or something like that. Let's go back over to you. Walking away, making a choice. Somebody's walking away and they're headed towards love. You notice this person is headed towards the Knight of Cups, leaving something emotionally disappointing behind and heading towards a relationship that is extremely compatible. So this is saying goodbye to emotional fulfillment and headed towards emotional fulfillment. Okay, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. It's emotional support. It's healing there's a healing love here getting and it's interesting time to get out of a situation you are going to be getting out of a situation where there was some sort of emotional disappointment you are and you're going to be headed towards something that is emotionally fulfilling oh we got the three of pentacles over here two in the same position so working together this is teamwork you're going to be working with somebody this may be somebody that you meet through your job if you haven't met this person already but this is this is creating so you're going to be creating something uh, this is creating a masterpiece in this card this person's going to be learning new skills over here i feel like you're going to be creating a masterpiece with somebody you know, if you have been alone, Virgo, I think it's going to, this is a reconnection. This is coming out of hiding. You may, ha you may have been going through some sort of crisis. You may have felt rejected. I do feel like it's, you're going to be connecting with somebody that is absolutely perfect for you. Um, this is, uh, coming out of hiding after, after thinking about things, after, uh, really uh, going within and coming up with a plan. I feel like you've taken a time out to think about something. I think that you've really thought about something. You've thought about emotional fulfillment. You've thought about what's been, you know, emotionally dissatisfying to you. You, you're, and now it's like you're ready to connect. You're ready to follow your heart. I feel like. I feel like you have grown. I feel like you have become enlightened. You've already come up with a plan. And I feel like you know that there's something that is emotionally dissatisfying. And you know that there's another opportunity for love here. I feel like you see it very, very, very clearly. And I feel like you're going to be working together with somebody that uh, is going to bring you an opportunity for love. So you're definitely receiving an opportunity for love that is 
totally, totally, totally meant to be. Um, oh, worried though. There's some sort of worry here. Anxiety. I feel like you're worried. You're worried about, you know, working together. Maybe you don't trust. Maybe there's a lack of trust here. Um, I do see anxiety and worry and fear, fear of being rejected. Maybe you're fearful of, of things not working out. Things are going to work out. It is time for you to get out of a situation that has caused a lot of stress. There's been a lot of stress here and you've thought about it a long time. So I do feel like you need to follow your heart. There is a healing love. There is a, there's an opportunity for love here and it's big love. It is big love. I think you need to let go of your fears, let go of your worries. If you have been lonely, if you're single and you're watching this, you may meet somebody. You may meet somebody unexpectedly, you know, and start a new relationship. Whoever you're dealing with is emotionally available. They're very, very loving and they have a lot of love to offer. So I think you need to let go of your fears. I feel like there's been some sort of abuse. I think that you've been abused. Maybe it's mental abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse even. You may have been dealing with a bully. You may have been dealing with somebody that lies a lot, that doesn't tell the truth, that doesn't communicate well. I've, and that may be what's causing your fear, causing your worries. Or maybe you feel like you're, you, and that's maybe why you've been in hermit mode, thinking about everything. But I do feel like you, you're going to be given an opportunity to work with somebody uh, this week. You're, I feel like you're really worried about an outcome as well because I, I see the worry. I don't think there's nothing to worry about. I think it is time for you to get out of a situation that has caused you a lot of stress or caused another person a lot of stress. There is love to be had in this situation, a lot of it, a lot. To, an angel is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. They are definitely meant to be together. You have to leave the emotionally disappointing situation behind. You've already thought about it. You've already come up with the plan. You know, don't don't let your fears get in the way. Um, there is definitely an unexpected choice in love here that is being made this week based on intuition and based on what your heart knows. Um, whoever you're dealing with, um, is going to be forced to start with a clean slate because I feel like I feel like they're going to be receiving some sort of information or some sort of truth, you know, that uh, forces them to do so. It's going to force them to start a new life, to become healthy in some way. So I, I do feel like you're dealing with somebody that's not very healthy. Maybe they don't value you. You know, they don't value. They don't value you. You know, they don't value. And something to do with a mother here because of that empress reversed. Um, whoever you're dealing with um, is very, very forceful. Uh, they're possessive. They may sleep around. You know, this person may sleep around. They, they maybe involve you in third party situations. Uh, you, you may wish that you never met this person, you know, or they, you know, or vice versa. This is like wishing I never got involved, you know, so that could be a, a wish, you know, that somebody is having. Anyhow, I do see the end of a situation with that four of swords reverse. I think it's a painful ending for somebody. If somebody is going to be forced to start with a clean slate, I think it's the person that you're dealing with. And I think it's because you have a connection that is meant to be, or you're going after healing love. You're going after love. You're leaving behind emotional disappointment. And I think that you've been thinking about it for a while. You have been thinking about it. You know, you've been a little fearful. You've been a little worried, but I think that you're making the right decision to get out of this situation, whatever it is. There is somebody that is going to be offering you, you know, something that is going, it feels like it's going to make your heart sing. And I don't say that very often. Um, yeah, so Virgo, I feel like this week, whoever you're dealing with is about to get a wake up call. Good luck. You may be falling in love with somebody or somebody else may be falling in love with you. There's definitely love here. There's no doubt about it. Whoever this person is that is, that is in you, that, that is going to be making an offer of love is very, very emotionally centered. You know, this person 
is intuitive. This person is uh, answering the call. That's what I. That's what I gotta say. It's like this person is. coming to help you heal you know it's about healing they're they're, they're 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 arriving at just the right time to help you heal from a situation that has caused you a lot of stress so anyway that's what I got good luck